So in this one, we're gonna be creating a very simple search filter. That is, users are gonna be able to search something and results are gonna show up, or at least some sort of like list of items are gonna show up. And it's actually gonna happen on the post list itself. So what I wanna do is jump into the post list template first, and we're just gonna put a input right underneath the title. So let's go look at it. At right underneath this list title here, we're gonna put an input for searching. And all I'm gonna do is form, and I'll say method equals to get, which is the default. And then I'll just give the action of nothing. And we're gonna close this off. And I'll say input type equals to text. And we'll say placeholder equals to search posts. Close that off. And then input type equals to submit. And value equals to submit or search. Okay, so we're gonna refresh in here. Now we've got this search function here. And if I search something, let's say new car, um, I don't actually get anything in here. So I actually have to add one more thing to this and that's name equals to query, or let's call it Q for query for short. Now I search it again and I say car. Notice the car comes up into the URL itself. So that is a get request. So back in our view to get that, it's very similar to like what we did with this page stuff, except we just add one more thing. So we're gonna go ahead and say query equals to request dot get dot get Q, which is the query itself or the name of the actual input for the query. So this right here and if query, so if it exists, we'll do query set list and we'll say equals to query set list dot filter and we'll say title equals to or let's say underscore underscore i contains q and we'll save that for a second and refresh oops not q but query sorry about that should be the same as that variable refresh and we'll say now it says car look at as it's already showing that it's only one page so let's go back and say tesla we can change it up here or I can change it in here, right? So back into our um, actual view itself, or in here, I'm also gonna add the value equals to request.get.q, oops, capital get again, and it'll actually show us that, that search in there as well, so car, it keeps it in that that search box so the user it's a lot easier that the user can tell that they did search it and of course if i put nothing in here it's going to come back as everything else so query is none really is what's going on there all right so now that i've got that i might want to add one more thing into this search like i want to have the title but maybe also want to have something with the description or the content itself and possibly the author or some other stuff but really i'm just going to do the title and um, the content, and then we'll do some stuff with the author's names. Um, so to do this, we have to do Q lookups. So I'm gonna search Django Q lookups on Google, and it's making queries. So we, I'm gonna just search import Q, and this gives us the Q lookup stuff that we need. So these are complex lookups. I'm gonna explain this in just a second, but let's actually put it into action first. And I'm gonna import this in. So Q is right here. Now back into our query, we're just gonna add Q in front of this. So as you see here, I'm gonna go ahead and space it out a little bit. Now I have a line for this. And then if I put a straight line, then I can add another type of query. And I can add content. I contains, and then add another line. And I'll say user or excuse me, I think we called it author, but let's actually check in our models. Nope, we called it user, so the post is user. And I'll say user, double underscore, first name, I contains. And I can do that one more time for last name. And there we go. So what this is doing, each line here is saying or. So the title contains this query or the content contains this query or the user contains this query and so on. And then if I just add dot distinct, 
to the end of this, it's not gonna have duplicate items in there. So let's do our search again, and this time I'm gonna search Justin, and notice it's all the same posts. Let's search car again, and now it comes back down, and if I search, let's say something that's probably, here we go, or her we go, and I search that specifically, I got a nice little search, and it only shows the post that actually comes up there. And also see that it is nice and URL uh, encoded. So you can even share this search. Very, very simple search, but it's very useful for us um, as far as updating how the query is. Notice that I still can use pagination. Um, so let's actually change pagination. I'm gonna change the list to Tesla. And we still have, we have multiple in here. So I'm gonna just change the actual number that I'm gonna have is two. So two results for per page. So I, I change it to two and if I hit next, it changes it to page two. Didn't actually stay as far as the query is concerned. So what we have to do is back in our post list, the pages are still working, but the next part is not. So in here, we've got our page number and then we'll say and Q equals to request.get.q. So whatever the query is, and I'll just put that also on previous and we can now look back in Tesla. So I refresh and there we go. If I hit next now, it's keeping the page as well as the query that's coming through here. And notice if I use lowercase, it's still showing up um, as far as the models are concerned. It's changing the order slightly, but it's, or it's, excuse me, it's not changing the order at all, uh, but it is showing us exactly how we want it to see. So as far as the Tesla is concerned, order is gonna come through based on how we do our model. Um, so in here, you know, that order by stuff, it's still gonna come through the exact same way. And that will order by will also work on this model manager as well. Um, so the last thing that I would wanna do actually is get rid of this queue if we don't have anything. So let's go ahead and look at posts. And if I go to next, queue is still showing up here. It's really not necessary for it to. So you could just say, here is if request dot get dot q then we'll show that otherwise we won't show it so i'm going to copy this and paste it down here now i refresh and look at the pages again go to next and it's now no longer showing q if i search new it's gonna go back to that original search. It's not gonna go on that individual page and then it's gonna to go to next. Um, that's how I believe most search engines are gonna work anyway. It's gonna to go to the original search. It's not gonna necessarily filter that page. It's a little bit different. Cool, so that's a basic search function. If you have any questions on this, let us know. Um, otherwise, let's keep going.